Be prepared for highly offensive language and adult and sexual themes. So guys, you've just joined me. I'm taking part in the killer coin Bitcoin task, as you can see. I'm currently hiding in the bedroom. Hopefully no one will find me. Well, what a couple of days it's been. I can't believe it's like day three and it's already been kicking off in there. It really, really has. It's a little bit messy at the moment, but I'm hoping I'm just gonna blend in and no one find me because there is no way I'm getting that killer coin. It's time for a bit on the side. because the Bitcoin task is in full swing just a few days in. And this series has already been proven to be one big snore fest. I mean, <laughs> Thomas! Literally, a couple of days in, we've already had our first snore game! <laughs> snore game. <laughs> and it's fair to say, though, that Lewis F, bless him, he's barely slept a week. He sounds like a fucking Lamborghini. Other car brands are available, though. Uh, but snoring isn't the only insight we got tonight into how Thomas sounds in the bedroom. Just have a listen to these noises he made during the coin holding challenge. <laughs> sounds like a good night, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but if you hear those noises coming from the swimming pool, Cameron, you might want to stay away. Uh, also tonight, our housemates might have only been in the Big Brother house for three nights, but they've been banged up in Boreham Wood for a little bit longer than that. Find out what happened when we took a sneak peek at our housemates in hiding. Oh! Oh! All the exclusives! All the exclusives! Uh, also, could our financial theme task mean that we have got the most competitive game of Big Brother Ever here to tell us if the big coins have brought out the bitches, the backstabbers, and the betrayers of the house. It's the one and only Dame Judy Dent. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, I've just been informed it's Dame Judy James. Judy Dench isn't here. Oh. But Judy James is dead. Yeah. Uh, speaking of bitches, backstabbers, and betrayers, it's time to meet my Monday night panel. Only joking. I'm not. First up, after all the dramas of the celeb series, we thought. We kickstart civilian with someone who would remain neutral, sit on the fence a bit, bring an air of calm to the proceedings. But unfortunately, there was a mix-up with our celeb booking team. We've ended up with the opposite. It's James Jordan! Yeah! <laughs> and my next guest knows a thing or two about sharing a house with a bunch of strangers, but does she think any of this lot are her type on paper or just a bunch of tuna melts? It is the female in our Monday Night Man Witch. It's Love Island's Georgia Harrison! Yeah! Finally, he lives for a big old juicy story. He loves working to a very tight deadline and always delivers in record time. Oh, and let me just say, he's also got plenty of experience when it comes to giving fantastic head lines. <laughs> lines, head lines, done. It's Monday. It's done, Warren. <laughs> filthy, that's filthy. <laughs> Right, well, there you go. We are three days, just three days into the show. I has been on for a week. Uh, and I know this lot are massive Big Brother fans. Uh, this series feels very different to previous series. Um, Dan, let me come to you. As an avid fan, I know how much you love the show. It does feel a bit different, this series, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, firstly, I just have to say it's been a really sad week, sad actually. Week. Sad and week. I'm so, so gutted that the show is at least going to be ending on Channel 5. Yeah. But who knows? Who what knows? Will happen? <laughs> Who knows? Down the path. Please keep in the show. But I definitely think there has been a huge difference uh, this year. It feels like, and I love this, it feels like going right back to the early days. There's no one in there who is going into that house simply to be a celebrity. And mm. for me, that's genuinely refreshing. It just yeah. seems, it just seems like, I don't know, the mix just seems really, really different. Georgia, what are you making of the lineup? 
I think it's brilliant. I mean, obviously, it's quite a young one in contrast to the it usual is, and I'll, I'll say as well, I was a little bit worried when I knew the housemates. I thought, oh, it is quite a young house. But, I mean, then you've, again, you've got someone like Cameron, who's 18, who's a bit like a 40-year-old in it. You know what I mean? But it's exciting as well. You know, they're going to do more things that sort of shock us. They're all absolutely out there to have a good time. And I think it's a great lineup so far. You do? James, you love the show. What do you think? Yeah, I think... Why did you laugh? <laughs> You're making Barbara laugh already. <laughs> no, I think I think the lineup's really diverse. I think it's a yeah, you've got a lot of interesting characters in there. But more importantly, this might be the last time I'm ever on this show as no. well. And can I just say Never. can I just say that you are absolutely yeah. bloody oh, awesome. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to cry. Um, this was definitely the loudest snoring. I've got to move on because she's going to start me up. Um, we need to talk about the snoring. It was the loudest snoring we've ever had in Big Brother history. Have a look. So this is what was going on. They're in the bedroom. That night, I've never heard snoring like... I love Thomas and I know he can't help it, but all I can say is, hard deep, eat your heart out. Do you know what I mean? Um, Dan. Would you sleep in the same room as Tom? No, absolutely not. I it's mean, so loud! I know. I mean, I do understand it's life, but... And he can't the... help it, bless him. We love him, but well, he can't help it. I know, but the housemates that were trying to have a go at Lewis for, for yeah. raising the issue, I think, were just wrong. Because, well, was... come on, you've got to at least talk about it. It's yeah. so, yeah. so Let's be annoying. honest, it was Anamelia. She wasn't happy with some of the housemates' oh, reactions to the anything. snoring. She actually accused Lewis F of bullying behaviour, was her words, because he laughed at Thomas. Um, Dan, that was a bit of a strong reaction, wasn't it? Well, it was a strong reaction, but I do. Oh, he's have, got a butt. He's got I, a butt. I, I, I do have to it's say, a dead wooden butt. Uh, I think <laughs> Anamelia is already. I know it's very, very early days, but already potentially uh, going to make my top ten best housemates of really? all time. Really? Because Everything about her is sort of so skin crawlingly annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but my goodness, she is making it just incredible to watch. She is making it incredible to watch. I'll give you that for definite. But George, with the Lewis F and Thomas situation, it was nice to see them to, you know, have that chat and clear the air because it did seem like Anna Amelia had, had got involved a little bit there. I mean, first of all, it must be in the interview question, do you snore? Because they always get one of them in oh, there. Oh, we know! They, they we always know. get one of them in there. But, yeah, I feel like she was just really trying to stir it up. And the thing about her is, some people go in there, they're annoying, they know it, they try to be. It's like she's so annoying, but she doesn't realise it. I don't think she knows better. that she's winding people up. Yeah, I really no, don't. I think she was really wrong, and I hope they can see through it and keep it together through the snoring. Well, it's not the first time Anamelia and Lewis F have clashed. Yesterday, they argued over comments that he thought were mm. sexist. James, are they just both really strong personalities? What, yeah. do, what are you making of them two? Um, yeah, I do think they're both strong personalities. Myself and Dan disagree because I actually quite like Lewis F, but that's probably because I really dislike Anna Amelia, <laughs> and he's standing up to her. Um, I, I actually see his point. You, you have to see his point, what he was saying. She said, I like men that are really tall, thin, slightly dark, if, uh, really well hung. If a man said, I like girls that are about five foot four, really thin, slightly dark... Don't say it. Uh, no, don't, don't say it. <laughs> a, a really tight... Yeah, 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 yeah! Stop. Stop. <laughs> no, did you I, I, get, I be totally uproar. get what you're saying. Do you think... Oh, actually, I'm going to ask you this. If it was the other way around, and it was two guys, and a guy had said what she was saying, in a female no, context. Not be accepted. No, well, 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 welcome to the last hundred years of society. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Lewis F was saying exactly what he thought people wanted to hear. No. Oh, you see? Yeah, no. and, that, and that's the problem. No, he that's didn't. What do you guys think? He's been PC. There is a finger <laughs> wagging. <laughs> no, 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 Right. No way, right? Because every, because he's basically bringing up, yeah, you're right that he is bringing up what we're doing, yeah, but it doesn't make it right that women do the exact same thing to men. It's about gender equality. Gender gender equality. equality. There's a female. There's a female. Yeah, you shake that. Right, right, 
Nolan, Nolan, in all, but in all seriousness, though, a, a genuinely serious point here. Do we really, really, does everyone really want to be in a world when we're no, uh, no longer able to say what we fancy we about the same well sex on. or the same I'll, sex? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be very honest here, but not for others. Dan, I completely agree with you. I think anyone should be able to say what they want to say. Has like gone that. mad? But yeah, do you has. think? Do you think he was bringing up the fact that if it was two guys sitting there, would not us and Amelia? Be the sort of woman to yes. turn around and go, you can't say yes. that. I think that's 100%. what he was saying. But Anna Amelia will disagree with anyone putting her. But this in front is what I think her. he was saying. She'll disagree with is, Mother Teresa. Up. Well, Brilliant. Louis G, we need to talk about the, the uh, task because Louis G was really happy Anna Amelia lost that task. <laughs> he really rubbed it in her nose. George, what did you make of that love of the guitar? <laughs> I loved it. I loved that she lost. I loved that he loved it. And I just wanted her to proper eat it. And do you know what I feel sorry for? A partner, mate. Yeah. Couldn't think of anything worse than being stuck there. I know we, we, speak, we spoke about we spoke about Lewis G on launch night, and everyone was like, Jesus Christ, what is this? Because some some people said he had similarities with a certain bell. Mm. Um, but he he seems to be bringing it at the right moments, James. Do we agree? Yeah. yeah I mean. He's a bit like he's got a bit of you in him. When we were watching it, when we were watching it, I said I would have been doing exactly <laughs> the same thing. thing. Like, woo! Yeah. You can do it. You did seven and a half hours for nothing. <laughs> Brilliant. I think I he's he's annoying, um, but I think he, he's got comedy. Gold timing. He's got a little timing. bit of time about He's him. brilliant. Well, I think it's going to definitely really rub him up the wrong way in the coming weeks. But there's something I need to talk about. I am loving the bromance uh, between Thomas and Cameron. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, name a more iconic duo. I'm going to hashtag it. Camas. Camas. Yeah. We're there. We're there. Dan, it's really sweet seeing them two bond because Cameron, he, he was very open and saying, you know, I feel, in his, his profile VT, I feel like I don't really get on with people that easily quite quickly. Thomas and him mm. seem to have got really close. I know. I felt a little bit sad watching Cameron tonight, though, in the conversation with Lewis F, yeah. because clearly this is a guy who is still discovering exactly what he... Who well, he we, can is only, and... we can only assume from what, what, how he answered that question. We yeah. obviously don't know, and he's not said you but, know, whether but, he is struggling or anything No, like of course not, but look. It might be a special friendship, put it that it way. It might be. And do you know what? I really, really hope Thomas does bring out the Sasha Fierce in him. That's all I'm looking for tonight. Um, what a panel. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. Give him a good yeah. finger. Yeah. Yeah. bring that finger. Yeah. He's bringing the finger to yeah. uh, Still to come, the Big Brother cameras might have only just started rolling in that house. But our bots cameras sprung into action much earlier. Find out what happened when we were given exclusive access to Cameron and Anna Amelia in Ooh. hiding. Ooh. It was good. See you straight after the break. bit on the side still to come Thomas learns the shocking truth about a banana in tonight's bots news mm. but first have you ever wondered what happens in the days before a soon-to-be housemate actually goes into the house so uh, well, it's funny because there's a lot of preparation uh, I remember when I did it I used about three bottles of fake tan <laughs> slapped on that last bit of makeup a little bit of bone you know a little bit of filler my back my sack my crack <laughs> oh, I want that boring Anyway, here's what happened when we got exclusive access to Cameron and Anna Amelia before they went into the house. I definitely feel like there aren't many people like me. I just want to be brave enough to, to actually be who I am because this is who I am. Every crystal, first of all, they're alive. They have consciousness. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for one crystal to form. And then they all resonate a certain frequency. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so don't judge me, okay? I have packed things that I feel represents me because I am definitely a fashionista. I like being fun and sexy, and that's part of who I am. I mean, hi. You can't be mad at me because I'm wearing hearts. I love clothes with like statements. Equality, yes please. I am the future. Little 
tie up lace, you know. Yeah, I don't need to show that. A lot of G strings and stuff. I think I've just about got everything um, that I want. Most of this stuff is new, including these. Um, I think I've got about, I've got about 15, 15 pairs of pants, um, but not all of them are ones that I really want to wear, if that makes sense. I mean, I've got like a thousand t-shirts because, um, you know, I'm hoping that I, I get to the get to the final. I don't want to go first. As a, I mean, as a fan of the show, I know the embarrassment. I really do not want to go first. So if that's playing a game, then that's playing a game. But I don't think it's playing a game. I just do not want to go first. I don't have any strategy. I'm competitive, for sure, but I'm not at the expense of my morals. Please welcome housemate number two, Anna Melia. I just want to be brave enough to, to actually be who I am. I'm not going to screw people over to, you know, win. I'm not about that life. This is a surreal moment. It doesn't feel real, but I know in about 10 minutes I'm going to be where I've always wanted to be. Next up is a man who was just six months old when Big Brother first hit our screens. I can't even put it into words. I can't find the words to even describe how it's going to be to go out to something like this. It's like nothing I've ever done in my life. It, yeah, it's, it's flabbergastery, if that's even a word. And every time I see Anna Melia, I think she just looks like Jessie J. Yeah, Does yeah, she? Yeah, she yeah, looks like Jessie yeah. J. And I think Kay looks like Mel Black from All Saints, but I'll save that for another day. Yeah. All right, it's time now for tomorrow's headlines in today's Spots News. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, settle, please, settle down, settle down. Our top stories tonight, Isaac and Lewis G are looking for love. Yeah. The boys have a meaty meeting over breakfast. And Thomas's dreams come true in the garden. First up, at 10.53 this morning, Lewis was looking for another cuddle buddy. Run, VT. I might have one of these girls on me soon. <laughs> Not you know while I'm here. I won't allow it when I'm here. You're my boyfriend now. <laughs> I might have one of these girls on me soon. <laughs> It's true. Deadly serious. Do you have your eye on a particular individual? Or is it? Just still? all of them, innit, really? You can't fall in love in the Big Brother house. You can. Well, you can, but I have. It, it'll mess with your game plan. You got a game plan? Yeah. What is it? Win. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, I just can't believe Lewis G has already given his game plan. Very, very complex. Uh, then at 11 this morning, the boys had an excellent discussion about breakfast. Stop it, please. Come on, run, VT. Stop it. Why is there egg white in the fucking V? It's, I was in... What's the point of making meatless meat when you're putting fucking eggs in it? That sounds good, though. I know. You don't like eggs? Nah, man. I do, but I just don't want to eat them because it's fucking dairy, isn't it? In what? In the egg. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know those dairy and eggs. I think you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. You are, brother. I didn't know that either. Yeah, he's wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, there's no dairy and eggs. Fucking right. Any fucking produce that comes from an animal is dairy. Nah, there's no dairy and eggs, though. <laughs> Well, I have had news, Justin. I can confirm that there is no dairy in eggs, guys. There is no dairy in eggs. Lewis F is just milking it. How dare he? <laughs> uh, next up at 11.41 this morning, Thomas wasn't the only one creaming himself in the garden. Run, VT, please. Stop touching yourselves, people. It's turning me on. Hot oh, damn, you... Jesus. Oh my God, yes, touch him. <laughs> That's so hot. <laughs> oh yes, queen. <laughs> hey, how hot is that? Tepid. <laughs> Fuck, you don't really have the same type as I do. Ooh, I would love to see the makeup. Watch out. Of course, it's so hot, come on. Oh, oh, God, yes, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy likes. <laughs> Mummy. 
Like. <laughs> Remember, viewers, always use protection. And by protection, I mean sun protection. Uh, now, I've just had an update that our bot showbiz correspondent, Dan Wooden, has a juicy news exclusive for us. Dan, over to you. Yes, that's right, Ryland. Some exclusive breaking news at 2.17 this afternoon. A piece of fruit sent the housemates bananas. Run, BT. I've laughed a lot, you know. <laughs> Why? A lot. What? Been here. We have, haven't we? I'm, I'm glad it's outweighed the cries. <laughs> oh, definitely the laugh yeah. of that. Well, I don't know, my cries could be at the con, but... What, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> the fuck? Like That's why I don't eat fruit. It's too hard to, to get into. <sighs> it looks like a bomb. corn, not a banana. Another bob? Another bow? I learned that then. Bob. Can somebody fucking help me, please? <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even know there was that many levels. Told you. The fuck is this? Like, a prop? What the fuck? A prop? Sorry about that. Sorry, I just forgot where I was. Um, Dan, anything else to add? Yes. No, that's nothing right, from you. And that's today's news. Thank you. <laughs> well, I love you. And uh, still to come, I'm going to be giving it my best Carol Smiley. Hashtag bring back changing rooms, you know what I mean? <laughs> As we find out what happened when I sneak my way on site to bring you the most sophisticated house tour in the history of bots. Plus, <laughs> the one and the only Dame Judy James is back. <laughs> She's going to be giving us the 411 on all of our housemates to see straight after this. I mean, that's a trick of a banana. Do you know what I mean? So, I've got to do this. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side. And this is my impression of Louis G. Here we go. Are we ready? Come on, let's get into it. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. You ready, Dan? It's about you. Dan is awake. He's looking great. Dan is the man and he's got a plan. Dan is awake and he is looking great. He's always got the scoop. Can I get a word? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My other raps are normally better. Uh, coming up in just a moment, a woman famous for two things, her unique ability to analyse the behaviour of reality TV contestants and her unique ability to keep that fringe looking so damn perfect every time. <laughs> Dave Judy James is back! <laughs> you work your hair, girl. <laughs> but first, patterns, prints and feature walls. It's interior design talk, don't you know? Uh, can you believe it only took our design team 65 hours to completely transform that house. Yeah, clap for the design team. Yeah. To completely transform that house after our celeb series. So it's time to find out what happened when I snuck in on launch day for a little VIP tour. So here we are inside the brand new Big Brother house and this one is an absolute beauty. Look at the walls, look. All those optical nerves. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, those pair of glasses. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's actually beautiful. Ah! The table's the eye. The table is the eye, guys. A couple of upside-down heads on the table. This is beautiful. It's so strange. I don't know how they've done this so quick. It, it's amazing. There's all this propaganda on the walls. If at first you don't succeed, play the game. It's so... It's going to sound really strange, but and I think it's really fitting. This house, to me, feels really Big Brother. It looks like Big Brother. It smells like Big Brother. Big gold cock. Big gold cock. Oh, hello, darling. You all right? Oh, she's not feeling too well. All right, don't, don't worry about it. Love a big gold cock. Oh, yes. This looks amazing. Look at that, sink or swim. Some sink, some swim. 
The pool room looks very different. It's like a locker room now. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Look at this lounge. It looks amazing. And look at this. Look at this. Look at the detail. It's the big brother. All right. No? Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Oh, my God, look at the beds. But this bed is bed number 13. Good luck with that one. Can you see me in the maze? And everything's been done in this bathroom. It looks amazing, but have a look. Little rat rat, wash your back rat. Yeah. Now, one thing we won't have this series, fingers crossed, is wet vanity chair gate. Because these ones, look, wipe clean. Really easy. But you can't throw it at anyone because everything's now down. So there you have it. That is your brand new Big Brother house. And for one final time, it's time for me to leave and get back out into the world outside. Back to you, Ryland. One final time. It really upsets me. Uh, it's a beautiful house. Well done to all the team. It looks amazing. Uh, what happens, though, when you put 14 Big Brother housemates against each other on a launch night week challenge to collect plastic coins and tell them that the three with the least coins at the end of said challenge will be up for eviction. Oh. I haven't got a clue, my love. It's never been done before, has it, dear? No. <laughs> but I know a woman who might have an idea there is nothing like a dame, because it's time for... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please keep that applause going and give it up for the wonderful Dame Judy James! <laughs> You look gorgeous. How are you? I'm very good, thank you very much. Well, you um, look I amazing. I love this, just in case I start Just in crying. case, babe. <laughs> they go everywhere with me yeah. now. Don't worry about that. Um, what a start. What are you making of the new series? I'm not joking. I was sitting there sharpening my barrow and then suddenly it went off at warp speed. It was crazy. It was like an entire series compacted into one episode. And I loved all the different... I mean, it was sex straight away. What, what do we have? All body... Orgasm straight away. Oh. I mean, there was like um, uh, arguments straight away. Uh, normally, three weeks or two weeks it's before hit that. It's the I ground like, running, hasn't completely it? Completely and utterly. I mean, I, and I love the way that the masks drop so quickly. Really quickly. Well. Yeah, yeah, really quickly. They were quick. Amazing. They were. Um, well, as we all know, Big Brother started with a big old Christmas series in the form of a big coin. Now we've got the big coin challenge, but these big coins will decide who is safe, but more importantly, who will be up for eviction on. Friday. Now, I've waited for something like this for a long time, but what are you making? House currency. I know, and I absolutely adore this. I know people have been using this phrase about um, social experiment, and I know it used to be and it kind of was, but they're really doing it this time because what they've done is they've put a load of sort of hippies, and I've got tattoos of Buddha and this, that, and the other, and I've got my crystals and everything like that, and then they've created a capitalist society on top of that, and suddenly they went from all of that to this kind of naked greed, competitiveness, it oh, literally, it like that, it the second like that. those it coins like started that. falling, it was, it was... everything went out the window and it was bam, straight on that yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. What are you making? How do you think this series is going to be different from maybe previous ones we've had? Um, I love it because actually, I don't know where you got the housemates from, but it looks. Neither like... do we. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they've been grown from seed. I mean, literally, for Big Brother. It They're literally is, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely amazing. I usually am the one that's whinging on that I like the older contestants in there, but I must say I love this because it's kind of nice and level, which is making it really good for the kind of Hunger Games style that they're doing. I've said it. I've said it before. <laughs> If, the, if it ever comes on the Hunger Games, I want to host it. <laughs> let's hope we don't. Uh, but it didn't take long, though, for that game to get going. So let's have a little reminder of that launch night task. So we can see here, as you can see, they're all scrambled for these coins. They, like you said, Judy, it's quite crazy how everyone was so, yeah, you know, we're all going to yeah, be friends, yeah. and it's all going to be great. Yeah. The second that first coin dropped, yeah. they all changed. Does this show how competitive these people are? I think how competitive we might all be. I mean, there was no dignity going on there, was None. there at all? And, and absolutely no feeling for everybody else. And I love the way that you could actually see definitions of different types of competitiveness. And the ones that were literally 
couldn't get it right, like Thomas. I mean, oh, bless I mean, Thomas <laughs> with the nails. They couldn't pick it up the because nails. of his nails. I mean, also, when they were on the floor, he, he instead of Sean, who went over there very quietly, cleverly, strategically, picked them all up quietly, Thomas was like, oh, look, they're on the floor. And of course, the rest of them all came <laughs> flying over. Yeah, and I, I loved the way that you could see people throwing themselves on the table. I mean, who was it? K Kieran was like, throwing himself and knocking other Kian, people yeah. talking. Um, uh, 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 people standing on the table, literally Dresses going, riding up. Fighting with the lot. Horror. It was I, all going on. Maybe we're all like that. Maybe if some coins drop now, you and I would be oh, like... I, I would be. <laughs> I'd, I'd knock you all out of the way. I haven't got a job. What can I say? Um, we've got to talk about oh, Sean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, we've got to talk about Sean, because you've just brought her up. Yeah. The public voted her one of the people that they really, really like. So she got a 100 uh, Bitcoin advantage. How do you think that's going to affect how people look at her? I found it very interesting because normally when anything like that's happened in the past in Big Brother, they're all very apologetic and then people get slightly... Uh, but I think there's something about... She's a real warrior woman. She's very low-key. She's not getting stuck in with all the social stuff that's going on there. She's very confident and she was almost like boasting about it a bit. And in a way, I think that set the tone for the rest of them, which is, I don't think we're going to actually moan about her getting it. I think we're going to work out how we can get up there as well. So there wasn't as much resentment as I thought, and I think it's actually made them all a lot more competitive in there as well. I was going to ask you, like, a generalisation question about, like, what do the other housemates' uh, actions when they went to grab them coins? But I'm going to <laughs> totally go off script now. I want to talk about Anna Amelia because she's been quite, you know, the yes. centre of attention uh, from last night's show and tonight's show. What did you make of her reaction to the coins? The whole thing with Isaac when he took a few of her coins? Yeah. And she, I mean, she was furious. I think she's very complex. I think she's very manipulative. Uh, please, but don't get rid of her. Keep her, keep her, keep her. Uh, I, mean, I mean, during watching it, I mean, she was literally, she went from this elegant sort of diva to sort of bum up on the table, couldn't care less if she'd got knickers on or anything. But as you say, she then actually thought that she could leave her coins there and go away and come back and they'd still be... What does that say about her, though? Because that's, that's one thing I picked up on. She left the coins yeah. there thinking she could just go over there, but that's not how it works, surely. No, you know, I, you've got to protect your bubble. Absolutely right. I mean, she got a bag to put them in. Yeah. And uh, then she started saying, you're stealing, you've stolen. So I think she almost used it as a way to kind of say to the other competition, oh, look, you're a thief, you're stealing. I think she was using it to kind of lower the others. Well, uh, that competition, I mean, it heated up to a whole new level today, especially for that one lady in particular. Let's have a little look. Kay, so I asked sorry. you to stick with me. If you would have stuck with me, everyone was there. So we could have just yeah. put it on but somebody I just, else. I don't see the point of this. I don't see them folding on each other. I find it a bit intimidating but I think and this jarring. Is and I feel like, I really think you know, this is it shuts unfair. me down. That is how I am during competition. At the end of the day... Oh, I just want you to... Can I speak? So I can explain okay, to you okay. why. Because you keep interrupting me all the time okay. and I can't get to my point. Now, it's only been a few days. <laughs> yeah, again, it feels like a series. I know. But she has found herself at the centre of most arguments in there. Um, do you think this new gameplay element of Big Brother, because it literally was from the second they walked through the door, is going to affect people in there? She said she's very competitive anyway, but is this going to be... Good for her? Bad for her? What, what, what are you making of it? I, I don't think anything's affected her. I think she's just like that. I think if you sat her in front of the mirror, she'd argue with herself. <laughs> and I think... There's enough mirrors in there, <laughs> I'll tell you. What I'm also finding interesting in answer to your question, though, is it's not just the arguments that we're seeing now. Already, we're picking up threads from historic slights. I mean, I think that argument with Kay was actually sparked when Kay started to intervene and facilitate in an argument that she was having with somebody else earlier on. I think she made... Um, she actually felt that she made a group of the girls really good friends in there, which was Kay, Keneally uh, and Brooke. She, she wept in the bathroom. That was also manipulative. And then they all stood around and got the crystals out, do you remember, and had a group mm. hug. I think she kind of felt that she owned them at that stage. And I think that for one of them to slightly turn against her... It was a little bit like, I think, that she felt that she owned Louis F. after she did the tantric sex dance, <laughs> uh, and then he turned against her. I think she doesn't work out why, you, like the money, you can't just own things and they're yours, and that's it forever. Dame Judy, I really want to talk to you for, like, another three hours, <laughs> because this one, I think, more so than ever, I think, oh. in all the years I've done it, 
it, the psych side of it all this it year, I think it's going to be so exciting yeah, yeah, for us. It really, really is. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to see you. We love Thank you. you. Thank Judy James. <laughs> Before we go to the break, I've got quite a special challenge for two of my panel. So I don't know if you can see over there, but in front of you is a pile of the big coins used in tonight's task. Now, James and Dan, if you guys would like to stand up and come round the front of the panel, oh, no. I'd like to see oh, if no. you guys can last a whole ad break without dropping the I big coins. I think it's coin. very unlikely right now. Now, can I get uh, a coin cam, please? We are going to keep this on them throughout the entire break. So like if you that. drop it, we will know. You've got to do this for the entire break. So three, two, one, here we go. Right, time started. Now, still to come, my panel's going to be rolling up their sleeves and talking about rolls in the house. We'll just roll with it, Ju, don't worry. We'll see you after this. Roll the ads. Don't drop it! Go! you no word of a lie for the entire break this isn't telly is it they've yeah, all been standing there doing it let's check in on james and dan <laughs> and their <laughs> bitcoin challenge right so on point on that you can see yeah. i think he's risking this. he's risky yeah. but i think you've lasted long enough give him a round of applause yeah. Yeah. i really thought really james would have mucked it up on verbers but he didn't i'm quite proud of him uh right who wants an exclusive <laughs> It looks like all that tension is finally getting to Anna Amelia. Take a look at this. It's because I'm misunderstood. I want to stay the person that I am. I'm, I like me. I've worked really hard on myself to get to this point where I examine myself and where I try my best to understand everybody's side of things. And I don't want to change that about myself. But this house is like forcing me to become cold-hearted, and I don't want that. I thought I could bring some positive energy. I was hoping that people would find it easy to talk to me and learn from me, and I can learn from them. And... But right now... I don't know. Oh, Dan, what making of that a bit early on? Well, she's channeling Jesse J when she was let go from The Voice. Oh, he went there. <laughs> He's only got a gun. You can't say that. Look, I think this is a. I think this is a fascinating person. Yes, Absolutely she is. Absolutely fascinating. I love her. I think she's going to be a great housemate. If anyone votes her off. Or nominates her, I'm going to be mad. Would you want to be in the house with her, though? Oh, of course not. No. She's all for it. But it's all right being on the outside. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Well, listen. One whole weekend has passed since 14 Ooh. fresh face housemates. Uh, fresh face housemates. It's really hard for these things. And at the most famous property this side of the North Circular. I have to say though, that 8406 of the morning. It's terrible. That traffic is so bad. Do you know, once I was actually in a bit of a traffic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Thomas, please, it's important. Uh, but three days in, have the housemates already assigned the roles that they are going to take on for the rest of the series? Yeah, now, James, you've been in there, DOS times, twice. Um, do you think just even a few days in, the housemates decide what role they're going to take in the house? Um, I think they probably know what role they want to take. Um, I think it's too early still to tell what ro role they're actually going to take. I think it normally takes about a week before people start to be the, their true self. Uh, there's a lot of acting still going on at the moment. So I think you need to wait between five and seven days. George, you've, you've, you've done Love Island. Do, do people normally stick to their roles, do you think? The roles that they're either assigned themselves or been assigned by the rest of the, of the housemates. Do you think they stick to that role for the series, do you think? I mean, obviously, depending on who you are, you're always going to fall into a certain character, depending on sort of age and, and also sort of just the way you are as a person. But like you said, in the first week, they're all just acting like someone else. I don't feel like there's that many roles. I'd say if there was a motherly role, it would probably be Zoe. But we're not seeing enough of her at the moment, so... Dan, I mean, obviously people are going to be evicted, but over the next few weeks, do you think we're going to see a different looking house, as in sort of where people are at the moment? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. I don't think this house is even close in terms of working out 
the groups of friends, who the allies are. I think there's a huge amount of development left in these people to yeah, go. It yeah. does feel very early. Well, it's only been three days. Uh, we've already seen quite a few arguments. Tempers have been flared between Anna Amelia and the various other housemates, including Louis F, Isaac and Kay now. Um, let's talk about her quickly, her role in the house. Do you think, James, she'll be the fire starter in there? Who, Kay? Anna Amelia. Anna Amelia, yeah. God, she argues with everyone. Yeah. Um, and most of the time, she doesn't even have a valid point. She's trying to convince herself <laughs> that she's in the right. But, like, when, when Kay was speaking to her earlier, um, it was actually almost passive-aggressive, the way she was saying, I'm talking now, listen to me. Well, actually, it was a conversation, um, but she's kind of demanding everyone listens to her. She thinks she's right all the time. She's a bit of a nightmare, really. And, a dry and then goes in the diary room and cries and wants us to feel sorry for her. What do you for, think huh? of that? I think it's good that she's very vocal in what she wants to say, but I think the qualities she's got could get her to be the first boot, in all honesty. Do you think? Yeah. yeah, well, not near enough the first boot, mm. because um, she comes across as passive-aggressive to me. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, exactly what James just said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I she... I, look, she, we, we spoke about her a lot tonight, um, but she has featured heavily in the show. But, George, let me come to you. Who do, who do we think in the house will become the peacekeeper? Oh, I mean, yeah, I think I think Kay's a lovely person. I think yeah. Kian is lovely. I think he's got a very good outlook on life. Um, it's hard to, a lot of them will be peacekeepers, but at the end of the day, we all know who's going to be the most hated and is Anna Amelia. She makes spirituality look bad. She says she's positive and she believes in all these law of attraction things, but all she's done since she's got in there is have the um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She wants to send them crystals back to the shop, mate, because they ain't working. working. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I get a receipt for that? <laughs> um, every series, though, there does seem to always be the house baby. Now, we know Cameron is the youngest. He's only 18. But Danny, he's not really playing the baby role, is he, at the moment? No, I don't you think Tom S is yes. the little baby yes. in Do there? Do you? But in, yeah. a very, in, a very, in a very, very sweet way, though. I mean, I know we haven't spoken about it, but the story about having to go into the military yeah. service and the homophobia, he felt... Terrible. You can I mean, it, it was terrible, and bless him for mm. what he's done and how he's... And how as much he's... as that was a, an awful story to, to happen to yeah. him, I actually think him opening up about that, it was quite nice to see that side of him. Oh, yeah, and my goodness, you can see well. they all just want to look after him. Yeah. He's adored yeah, in there. Yeah, so yeah. I think he's like the little house baby. I'm not talking about age or maturity, but I think they want to care for him. Well, I think he's a bit like us as well. I think on launch night as well, I don't know us lot in here, we're all like, oh, Thomas, Thomas, you know. It's not about age. I think it's the person that you maybe want to protect slightly. Yeah. Would, you, yeah. would you guys agree? Yeah, he's gonna one that's loved, I think, through the whole thing. Yeah. And I can actually think that he's going to win. I think yeah. that oh, he's really? going yeah. 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 to win. I put money on the fact that I think that he's going to win because Definitely. I think he's going to stay the same continuously right through the whole lot. And he might even be Do the Do you think we're seeing the real him? Yes, I think so. Barbara's think put so. her hands up. I've got to go to Barbara. Yeah. God bless her. Go on, Barbara. I, th I think he could be the winner because I think he's himself from you the do? moment he's, he's gone in. Yeah, Early prediction sweet. from Barbara there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. He's gone in. He's going to inspire so many people, he doesn't even know it. You reckon? Yeah, he's going to yeah. inspire thousands across oh, the nation. Yeah, oh, how well, lovely. Let's just hope this doesn't change again. We know what Big Brother does. Um, I know it's very early on in the series. We've already had some cuddle buddy action. Hashtag shortest romance ever. Um, is Lewis G the, the house Lothario, do you think, James? Oh, definitely not. I think he thinks he is or wants to be. Um, I don't think there's any girls left in there apart from that idiot that got ejected um, that will pay him any attention in that way. You don't, you don't think there will be? Mark no. didn't touch him with a barge pole. No. I wouldn't. He'd be my mate. He'd it's... be my mate, but he's so cringy. Look at like, what shirts is he wearing? It ain't shit shirt day every day. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny. I, I like him. I like him. We've only got about 30 seconds left, but, George, if, if he does find another cuddle buddy in there, as he calls them, who do you think would go there? Oh, what, out of the girls left? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, maybe K for the airtime, if anything. You reckon, <laughs> Dan? No. I, I don't think any of them would. You've got to choose one. Maybe Anna Amelia. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. Anna Amelia. Really? Anna Amelia. <laughs> Anna Amelia and Lewis G. What a couple. Can you remember Anna Amelia and Lewis G, really? <laughs> Angry oh, sex, no. always.
I like, I like him. I think he's a fantastic housemate. He's going to have so much fun in there. He doesn't give a damn exactly what people think. I don't think we've seen the real him yet. Perfect. Bang on the bottom. Well, there you go. Another day, another slay. That is it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to my Monday Night Panel and my fantastic audience as ever. And, of course, to Dame Judy James. We'll be back tomorrow night at 11.15. Ricky Norwood, Jamie Lambert. Call me psychic. She's got a gift. Sally Morgan's going to be here. Till then.